Hey, 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 green owls. Dee Dee here. How you doing? So this is a special unboxing. Um, I'm not even going to say what it is in the title of the video. I don't think I could be completely wrong and forget that I plan to do this. By the way, is this little bear just adorable? Okay, so this is an indie deck. It is, as I knock the chisel out of my camera, very special. Let me see if I'm zoomed out. I was zoomed in. Now I'm zoomed out. Okay. Um, we're going to break in. So, during the winter time, my driveway can be a challenge for delivery trucks to enter. Um, and this delivery driver opted to throw this in the snowbank at the end of my driveway. And my dog found the box, but luckily they, they uh, didn't drag it around. Um, so, yeah, we got some pretty uh, tissue paper in here. And we will set that aside. Are you, is the excitement building? Are you excited? This is well packed for a mystery unboxing. Nope, no vision yet. You can't see it yet. I'm actually really excited to see this. That's a lot of tissue. Did it. I pulled the trigger. The Dream Dust Shamanic Tarot. <laughs> Hello, my beauty. So, here is the paper inclusion in the box. You can pause and read that. The creator is on Etsy, um, Sue Kovac Klein. Kovac. Kovach, Kovac. I'm not sure how she prefers. We've got a sleeve here. The ISPIN, the ISBN. I made my way to this deck um, because of my attraction to the Margaret Peterson artwork style. So that's where we are coming from. So this is a canvas covered box. Uh, with gold emboss. Beautiful. Everything about this is a piece of art. And we've got a magnetic closure. Strong magnet. And we've got a book. These are impactful large statement cards. Book is signed. Thank you, Sue. That is wonderful. Okay, so the major arcanas have some renaming, not a lot. We've got a dreamer, a wisdom keeper, perspective, initiation, balance, illusion, 
and an awakening, which is not totally unheard of. The suits, the sea, earth, wind, and fire. So instead of water, earth, it's sea, wind. The court cards, sprite, horse, goddess, shaman, shaman, sprite, horse, goddess, shaman, shaman. Hmm. So here is the first, the fool, which is renamed the dreamer. We have a full color mini. We have a description and thoughts and keywords. And then on the minors, there is a section on the suit and then starts with the star, then the two through ten, then the quartz, a section on earth, wind, and fire is last. And then, this is a really nice book. I'm not afraid of cracking the spine. It's uh, beautifully, beautifully bound. So we've got a card to meditate on, a daily card, a balance spread. I use a lot of two card pulls, so that will be something I do a lot of. There's past, present, future timing. There is the directional or journey spread as it's called. You can also use this as elemental. And if you want to learn more about the creator, artist, author, you can go to suekovackline.com. I don't know if I'll be old again. So. Okay. Then we have the inside of the box. The cards are celloed in there. And it is linen finished throughout, canvassed throughout. Um, absolutely perfection. So this is the card backs. It's got a, a yellow gold kind of shiny but not chrome shiny gilding. And the face of the cards have a huge piece of art. The title. And then a uh, represent representative thought. Phrase. Okay. Say hello to Ripper. Oh. Can I just say I'm like, ah, uh, what's the word? Vibrating with excitement. Sometimes you know something is special before you actually have the connection with your hands. Uh, I'm trying to think what I can show you. So this is a standard tarot size card. Okay. Let's see. Look at 
the introduction in the book. There's some poetry included from Langston Hughes um, and Rumi. There's some thoughts from Rumi included in this. So there isn't an introduction as such to the deck. Oh, there is. Here it is. The Dream Dust Shamanic Tarot is composed of 78 cards, 22 major, and 56 minor. That's standard. Each card is a painting, a poem, a meditation. To read them, you'll need to have your own intuitive style, compassionate heart, but... Let the spirit of synchronicity help you navigate the patterns, symbols, signs that jump out at you. Look deep within and allow your authentic self to brighten up your creative power. I'm going to sneeze. Excuse me. Okay. So, the cards are in the order of the book. So this is the gilding without plastic over it. So it is, is reflective. It is reflective, absolutely. Dreamer. This is the first time I'm looking at half of these cards. I haven't looked at every single card in the deck. The Magician on, from Online Images. The High Priestess. Oh, this is awesome. This is stunning. The High Priestess. Mystery, subconscious mind, trusting your intuition, divine feminine, answers revealed in nature and the between and between the veils. That's the phrase. And these are not Roman numeral, they are um, straight numbers. Empress, Emperor, Wisdom Keeper for Key Five. Lovers. That's a beautiful color palette. Chariot. Oh, you can just feel the dynamic movement in this. I don't know if you can see. Get the dynamic movement in this. Can you feel the movement in that? I can feel the movement in that. I've got the rhythm in me. Strength is key eight. Interesting color choices there. We'll have to see how that plays out. Oh, yes. Hermit. Wheel. Wheel of Fortune. The wheel. Change. A new chapter. Your destiny. Looking for one's sorry, looking for omens, synchronistics, life is changing, welcome the new. Justice. You have kind of a point where everything's balanced off of. You can see that. Perspective, key 12. The hanged man, renamed. Lovely. 
So if you look at it like this, it's very similar to Justice. Pendulum. Initiation. The key for death is key 13. This is a very dark piece of art, but there's a lot of movement going on. I'll see if you can see it. Can you see all that movement? There's some candle reflect. Ah, oh, stunning. Yabba dabba, balance, 14, temperance. And you have the same kind of um, pendulum point um, with the hanged man and justice have similar concepts. Those go together very nicely. Illusions, key 15, Diable. Lost to the illusion. The tower. Star. La. The moon. What's hidden in that image of Pscora? The sun. Key 20, Awakening. Similar colors palette to the wheel. More intensified. And the world. It's almost the, I almost perceive a face here eyes and chin and mouth, um, but it is super subtle. That's, those are the majors. All right, we go to the ace of C, the C star. Two of C. That's really interesting. Three. Four. Five of C. Five of cups. The six, the seven, uh, stunning art, eight, yes. Yes, thank you. There's the nine. And here's what would be the ten of cups. And you do have the arch represented it from the Rider Waite with the um, rainbow arch. Then we go to this court. We have the sprite. The horse, the goddess, look right here, goddess manifest, and the shaman. Now we go to the earth suit, 
Then we have the Earth Star, the Ace. Two of Earth, Balance. Three of Earth, Four of Earth, Five of Earth, This is the Six of Earth, here's the Seven of Earth, here is the Eight Here is the Nine of Earth And here is the Ten of Earth That's a glorious card Here is the Sprite jump back. You can see the um, the heart shapes in both of these suits coming out in the sprites. Interesting. And the earth horse is amazing. Totally get that. Earth goddess Depending on uh, how this is in relation to other cards, you could have it represent the fiery side of the Earth Goddess from a Pele-inspired volcanic eruption um, to the overwhelming joy and celebration um, and deep love. The Shaman of Earth. Stunning card. Oh. Wind Star. This is the Ace of Wind. Isn't that freaking happy? And once again, you have this is a softened uh, pendulum point or a point of balance. It's a. Uh, Point that's leveraging spirit and ideas. There's the two, as you would expect. Here's the three. Heartache, a sorrowful message, a broken relationship, grief, emotional and physical trauma, practicing forgiveness and self-love. So the writer weight messaging uh, holds, um, but we don't have a bloody heart, of which I am grateful for. Four of wind. That's a pretty traditional image. Five. Here's the six. This is slightly different for a seven of wind or swords. Um, Facing the matter at hand. Slightly different uh, meaning also. Here is the Eight of Wind. Well, if I look at this, this Eight of Wind feeling trapped almost sounds like the Eight of Sounds, Eight of Winds sounds like the Eight of Swords. That's proper. I keep, I keep thinking these are wands. 
Okay, your swords, eight of wind. Nine of wind. There's almost a sigil in this painting. Can you feel that uh, ang anxiousness coming off here? Chaos and darkness. That's an awesome, awesome interpretation. And the Ten of Wind um, is typical in Rider Waite. It's the he's dead card, right? But here we have the death and rebirth, the shadow moving on uh, away from suffering into hope. That's really a nice, nice piece. And we have the sprite and once again almost visible is a heart it's like one side of a heart kind of and then you've also got kind of an alk thing that I can pick up if it had red coming down it would be very onkish for like onkish is that a word <laughs> light um, life and wind sprite Wind horse. These col these colorations shift back towards the uh, wind star, um, the ace of winds. The uh, nicer colorations, the pastelier, less harsh. Certainly away from that. And the wind goddess. And the shaman. Then we go to the fire suit. Here is the fire star of the ace of fire. I would have almost expected the colors to be inverted in this and have the orange concentrated. So that's interesting. Two of fire. Three of fire, four of fire, there's the five of fire, six of fire, seven of fire. Eight of fire. You can almost feel like um, someone uh, doing a fire dance, swirling the, f the stick with the flames um, so that you see the circles movement. Here's the nine of fire. It's chaotic and complex, but there is still some uh, Control going on. Here's the Ten of Fire. And we have the Fire Sprite. Right now, readily, re readily evident. I do not interpret this to have any kind of heart shape in it at all. So that falls out of that pattern that the first two suits had for sure. Here's the horse of fire, passion, lust for life, achievement, adventurous soul, fire goddess, that's gorgeous, gorgeous, and the fire shaman. This art is awesome. Now, these are obviously large. They are glossy. Um, I don't want to shuffle them yet because I just want to go through them a few more times in order. Um, 
with the cards facing me actually <laughs> so I can uh, kind of absorb them none of the all the gilt guilting was separated none of the cards were stuck together um, they are well cut and well cornered excellent excellent uh, production value for an indie deck I mean amazing amazing packaging well done on the book um, well done well done Let's see what it says about key 13 because that piece of art was pretty dire there are many initiations or little deaths that you will experience throughout life you may be going through what shamans call shamans call a dark night of the soul where a period of illness or darkness leads to healing and light, a time of transition, transformation, and change. A caterpillar turning into a butterfly or a snake shedding its skin. You are being reborn. Death is the ultimate initiation. It is when the soul leaves the physical body and transitions into the next realm. Accept the death of the old accompanied by an increase in self-awareness and potential. It's an important time of letting go. And then keywords, transformation, change, rebirth, and mortality. <sighs> Excellent. I'm gaga. I'm stunned. So, this was my... First impressions, full flip through of the Dream Dust Shamanic Tarot. Be happy, be healthy, learn something new every day. Um, check out this art, uh, see if it resonates with you. Um, it is a not cheap indie deck. Um, but the production value and the, the art called. Um, and I had I had some bonus cash, so this would not this was on the list. It was something that just came together uh, on the spur of the moment. So, all you Grun Uls out there, uh, have a wonderful day, and share this video. Let me know any questions down below. Ciao for now.